Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here in Jerusalem. Um, just a quick production note before I start this video. I am currently uh, recording audio into a new microphone. This is the Maono AU, uh, AUUL10, which I just picked up from AliExpress um, this week. And it's a $20 USB lav mic. So hopefully uh, it'll be a little bit better than the previous $5 USB lav mic that I just bought to see if it could work properly with Linux, no problems. Um, so I just did a small upgrade. So I'll put a note, a note about that in the video description. Um, I just mentioned these things so I can keep track of, of things myself. So what I wanna do today is show you guys how to use the layout layout editor in Caden Live, which I'm uh, quickly becoming very fond of as a video editor. It definitely has a couple of bugs in it, but you know, it's pretty it's pretty decent. And um, I feel like there's a, I still have a lot to learn in this tool. Now, one of the things you can do is save layouts for yourself. And layouts are basically the way the screen looks in terms of do you have the timeline, the clip in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, the way you the way you change these is you click into views here, and uh, basically you can show what you want by clicking on these things. So I've basically um, put in the things that I commonly use and everything I don't use. I'm not showing to try save myself some screen space. Uh, for the parts of the uh, the workflow that I do use because I, I don't have this up on a massive screen. Uh, so I'm being conservative. So the ones I do use uh, personally are the clip monitor um, is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty much essential for seeing the clips you have in your camera reel. The effect composition stack I also use constantly. The effect stack I use constantly. Project bin um, I use uh, constantly. I don't be well. You could work without that, and I'll explain explain how in a second. Project monitor and project notes I don't use actually. So that's if you're working collaboratively, you want to leave notes on your. Pro I'm actually going to go ahead and just take that off. Um, and then uh, vector scope and waveform. So basically set it up as you want. And then what you do is click save layout and uh, then you can save a custom config for yourself. So if I go into manage layouts here, I actually only have two. So I've gone ahead and deleted all the ones that came in with Caden Live just because I want to uh, customize every layout I use and it does come with some, some built-in ones. So I only have two and you can see they populate in the top right hand corner of the screen. I have default and with clip monitor. Now, if you wanna, my personal workflow is sometimes I will um, preview videos in a file manager in VLC. So I'll work outside of Caden Live and then just drag stuff in. Increasingly, I've just turned on proxy clips. I will do everything in Caden Live, including previewing the clips. So that's when I would be using this clip monitor one. So clip monitor is basically, you know, you can, I just loaded a couple of videos of myself I took last week. So this is where you can look at your clips. So if I click on to the next clip, previous clip, so you can see all your footage. So dump in everything on your camera. And then here you can see the timeline uh, that you're editing and uh, you can actually make this full screen, uh, which is pretty useful as well. So, um, what you want to do here is there's only one thing I don't really like about this and that's that if you want to overwrite a layout you have to type it in again. So for instance uh, this is the default layout and if you recall what I did here was I took off the clip uh, property. So I've made a change to this. So in order to preserve this change I would go ahead here and type in Sorry, I want to go back into default and I want to take off clip properties. So what I do here is go uh, view, save layout, and I need to type. So it actually auto populates, which is useful. So now if I click on default and I click OK, it's overwritten the default. That profile and clip properties is gone. So if I go back to with clip monitor, it's gone. And in default, it's gone. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to handle something with spaces. Oh, it handles it okay. So it does auto it does auto populate, and that's the way you overwrite is just by clicking OK, and it'll overwrite the existing clip layout. Um, now that is essentially all that there is to say about it. But I want to show one more thing, and that is if you are using a few layouts, you may want to uh, assign a couple of keyboard shortcuts to make it easier to jump between them. So you can actually do this pretty easily. Go into your configure keyboard shortcuts and to save a bit of time you can actually search for um what are my layouts called clip monitor and default clip ah here we go 
So um, it actually sees three layouts. I'm not sure why that is. And if you ever want to see which one do you have, you can just go into manage layout. So you've only got two, but it's seeing three. In any event, um, you can also just go through this manually and scroll all the way down to wherever layouts. So this is alphabetic, alphabetical. So here we go, layouts. So let's say I wanted to, to have a key binding for layout one and layout two with clip monitor and just toggle between the two. So I could just go ahead here and assign a custom key binding, like let's say super. So you have to click on input. So let's say super plus, plus G, uh, super plus G. And let's do the next key over for layout two. So I'm just gonna go for super. Super, by the way, is the Windows key on the Windows key, which I never use on this keyboard I'm using here. So super plus G and super plus H. So watch this, this should work. Super plus G to get back to the original layout, super plus H to get back to layout two. So that's kind of handy. So you can do as many key bindings as you want and create as many layouts as you want. And uh, yeah, this is really, this is really useful. I'm just, as soon as I'm done this, I'm gonna go ahead and create, I'm actually gonna create a layout for everything I don't use because I want to learn these parts of Caden Live like the vector scope and the waveform. Hope this video was useful. Thank you very much for watching and uh, more, to, more videos on uh, Caden Live uh, coming soon to this YouTube channel.